Hello, my name is Tracy Jacobson and I'm here to talk to you about the SIMSI program. In short, I'm a fan. These programs bring additional capabilities to POST that are fully coordinated with the integrated country strategy. It's been my experience that the SIMSI teams have been more than willing to come in and work with various different agencies at POST to identify projects uh, in the humanitarian area or elsewhere that are fully coordinated with the work of the rest of the embassy. Sometimes even additional synergies are found. For example, when I was in Dushanbe, the SIMSI team renovated the building of a teacher's college where USAID was doing training. Here in Kosovo, they've completed a lot of projects in the short time that they've been here, including a women's shelter in Jalan, which they expanded and added additional beds to. Uh, they have been great with helping to make the best use of excess equipment from a downsizing U.S. military base including using decommissioned buildings to build fire stations in municipalities that need them, and also to provide medical equipment to clinics that need it. They've been very willing to partner with other agencies at POST in providing different kinds of training. For example, 911 training for police that they provided together with our ISITAP program through the Department of Justice. Uh, one of the things I really like about this program is the members of the SIMSI teams come to POST fully trained, fully respectful of Chief of Mission Authority, and ready to work with everybody across a variety of areas wherever the country team decides that they're best needed. Uh, for example, here in Kosovo, we've had a couple of iterations of a ROTC program where the ROTC cadets come, have an exchange with the local security force, and I don't think we would have been able to support that without the work of the SIMC team. So in short, uh, once again, I'm a fan, as they say in the military, high speed, low drag. Thank you.